In this episode we see that Seika successfully defeats the monster and the people in their palace are very happy. Just in time, Seika's father arrived and he saw what was happening. You can see on his face that he is shocked and can't believe it. After that incident, Seika's family prepared a special and delicious dinner. Seika's father, Blaise Lamprog, speak to everyone that his son has now done an incredible thing. His older brother Luft was impressed by Seika's bravery but one of his older brother Gly is very angry with him. Her father wanted to give Seika a reward but Seika asked her father that as a member of the Lamprog clan, she wanted to use his talent to be beneficial to the whole kingdom. He asked to be allowed to enroll in the Lodonia Magic Academy. His father agreed but he must pass the exam. And he asked again that if possible, he would allow Yifa to come with him to be his assistant. Of course, Seika thinks that this is a good opportunity for Yifa to also become proficient in her ability. Seika's father refused because he said Yifa had no magical talents. Seika said that he has nothing to worry about because he will show what Yifa can do. He told Yifa to make a big fireball if she wants to go with him. And Yifa did make a big fireball and Gly couldn't believe what he saw because he already knew something like this spell. This is a mid-rank spell. And in the end, Seika's father also agreed. Gly replied that it was against the Lamprog clan that two brothers would go on the same path. He should be the one to study at the Magic Academy and not Seika and Yifa who is just a servant. His father said he was right and he wanted to send Gly to the army. And Gly couldn't believe what he heard. Because of this he challenged Seika to a duel that whoever wins will go to the Magic Academy and the loser will leave the palace. Seika agreed. Their father set the fight between the two brothers tomorrow at noon. He reminded them not to use real sword or any kind of mid-rank magic or higher level of magic. One night while Seika and Yuri were talking, Seika felt looked strangely at the window. He ordered Yuki to hide and a few moments later, a strong wind hit the window of Seika's room. It turned out to be Gly's doing. Gly shouted to fight him now. Seika told him why can't he wait for tomorrow. Gly said that Seika was just lucky and the monster who appeared recently that he defeated is only a lucky chance. Gly began to release his power through his magic wand and a loud explosion occurred where Seika was standing. Gly was surprised that his attack didn't have any effect to Seika. Because of this, Gly released another magic, the Wind Lance, and aimed it at Seika but Seika blocked it through his light magic barrier. Gly combined Fireball and Wind Lance and aimed it at Seika but it had no effect on him as well. Using his paper Shikigami, Seika cast a spell and said that he was forbidding Gly to move. Gly stopped and let go of the magic wand he was holding. Seika moved one of the Shikigami's arms and Gly cried out in pain. Seika says that he should give up and tell their father that he will withdraw from their fight tomorrow, and Gly fainted. Seika suddenly thought of what Gly told him earlier that he was just lucky. He told himself that he had been rehearsing hard for six months now. And it shows that he opened another door and a giant monster came out. Even if Seika is just a kid now, he was recognized by monster as Haruyoshi. The monster was named Bonds. Bonds said he was glad to serve him again. Seika ordered Bonds to follow his Shikigami on the mountain. It will look for a monster called Elder Newt, a type of giant salamander and he must get it out of its nest. Seika already know what kind of monsters were living in the mountain. And he helped Gly to stand up. Later, Seika and Yifa's departure came. Luft tells Seika to study hard and this is their father's order. He also told Yifa to take good care of Seika and they said goodbye to each other. In the carriage, Seika gave Yifa a necklace of magical stones and ordered her to wear it. Its function is to help her pull the elementals closer to him. Seika and Yifa have reached the Lodonia Magic Academy. This is the place where everyone aspires to master the art of magic. Meanwhile, Blaze suddenly remembers the past when Seika was adopted by him when he was just a baby. Seika is his brother's son named Gilbert. Gilbert's dream was to travel the whole world and become an adventurer when he finished his studies. 
However, he suddenly disappeared into the demon's territory. The young Seika with black hair and black eyes was unusual among them in their country. He started using his power when he was just one year old. Luft avoids him, and Gly considers him an enemy. He regrets that Gly is the one he will send to the army of soldiers but it is more dangerous if Seika is the one he sends there. Seika can either become a hero or become a demon king to destroy the whole humanity. The next day, the exam begins. Seika approached the test administrator and introduced himself. The woman recognized Seika and the other children around them are talking about him because he belongs to the famous Lamprogue clan. Yifa was also asked who she was and she introduced herself as Seika's assistant. The woman ordered Seika to place their hand in a crystal ball. This will measure their power. It will light up if they possess the four elements, fire, water, wind and earth. Yifa touched the ball first and it lit up. The administrator said that her power is weak but she has the fire and wind elements. Then Seika followed and placed his palm on the ball but it didn't light up. The woman was confused and told Seika to repeat the placement but still it did not light up. The woman asked if he has the ability for light and shadow? This ball will just work only for those possessing the four elements. Seika said that he doesn't really have magical powers. The woman said that she can still participate in the exam because what they did was just a review. The kids behind them are talking about Seika and saying that he will just use his connection to get into the academy. Yifa heard this and become angry and didn't realize that her fire came out. Yifa panicked and quickly extinguished the fire. A girl came and introduced herself as Amiu. Amiu placed her palm on the ball and the ball glowed brightly. The administrator was surprised because she possessed the four elements and this is the first time she has seen something like this. Then Amiu walked away and Seika called her and thanked her. Amiu asked him what his gratitude was for. She also said that there is no place here for anyone without magical power. Seika didn't expect this and seemed to know her. The color of her hair is strange. And it seems to have known her in his past life. If you liked this video and want to see the next part, please subscribe to this channel because I'll be posting many more just like this. I'll see you on the next one.